Welcome to my very first watch me do my nails video. Today I'm doing my nails for a weekend trip and when I go away for a weekend I really like doing gel nails because I know that it will last and I don't have to worry about any chipping and when I'm packing and in a rush to get ready to go on my trip I know that they are totally dry and I don't have to worry about getting any smudges or anything like that. So I'm starting off by doing a light prepping of my nails. I filed them. I like to do like a little round shape. I pushed my cuticles back and now I am buffing them. I really like to push my cuticles back and then buff before I knit my cuticles because it keeps the skin from getting too raw. Um, and I'm also using my drill here. I have had some like really stubborn cuticle on my nails. So I like to just like quickly like run my drill along my cuticle area and it just gets off any remaining cuticle that the cuticle pusher or buffer um, might have left behind. I'm also doing this on my right hand, which is so exciting because I never really prep my right hand, so there's just so much cuticle to get off. I haven't been the best at moisturizing my cuticles or my hands recently, so there is definitely a lot of dead skin, and especially after buffing and pushing everything back, it kind of raises up any dead skin and it is just ready to be cut. If you want more information on my exact prep process, especially on how I recommend cutting your cuticles and doing your cuticle prep, I have a super in-depth video on my website that I will have linked in the description box. Now that I have everything all cut off, my nails are looking great and it's time to cleanse my nails, um, especially after doing the drilling and the buffing. There's a bunch of debris and dead skin that's kind of lingering and hanging around. Since I'm doing gel, I definitely want to clean all of that out. And I'm actually like kind of super crazy indulgent about this. I love to like rub the wipe in and get like all the crevices and just make sure it's super, super clean. And I'll go back over and clean it again and again just to be extra sure. And I love using this br really firm bristle brush just to like scrub my nails again, make sure I get all the debris off. And today I'm using one of my favorite tinted base gels from Cocoist and Nail Thoughts. I absolutely love these because they're a color and a base coat in one. They look amazing on their own and they are just so beautiful for putting nail art on top. I have so much information about these on my website. If you want to learn more, I will have things linked, linked below in the description. So here I'm just doing one thin coat on all of my nails. I like to just like put down some gel polish, push it around, make sure I'm getting super, super close to my sidewalls and my cuticle as close as possible without getting any paint on my skin and if I do you can see I'm kind of cleaning it off there because if it's connected to your nail and your skin that's what causes lifting. I also want to make sure that I am capping the free edge of my nail which helps your polish adhere and stay on longer too. Since I'm doing a really thin coat on this first round of polish I'm not really worried about the gel kind of slipping around um, by not curing it right away. So I will cure this for 30 seconds after I'm done with my first four fingers and I like to do my thumb separately um, so that the gel doesn't like slide around inside of the lamp. Okay, I just cured the first coat so now I'm ready to do the second coat. This one I'm doing thin but a little bit thicker and this is kind of where you can really see the color starting to come through. So you can see that it's really showing that like light sheer pink and it's just so beautiful i love how it looks um i often just like stop and stare because it's so shiny and it makes my nails feel so strong um, my nails have been so weak recently so even this like two thin coats of gel it gives my nails just so much strength and they look so natural and they're just this is just the best combo if you have weak nails and you want to try something new that won't damage them and if you are new to gel I have an entire video all about my start to finish gel process that's even more in depth than this where I go over my gel steps step by step. You learn every single thought in my brain and how I do my gel process on myself and on my clients for a really long lasting manicure. I'll have that linked down below as well. Okay, now I'm finishing up my uh, second coat here. 
I'm going to cure it for 30 more seconds. And here's the final look. It's so shiny and beautiful. I love it. So I wanted to do some nail art, but I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. So I just kind of tried blending some new colors that I have. This is Vitamin C and Smiley by Cocoist from the new Nail Thoughts collection. What I'm doing here is my signature favorite way to blend two colors together in like a fun ombre look where you paint one half of your nail one color and the other half the other color. I have a piece of paper off to the side out of the camera that you can't see that I'm wiping the yellow brush on so that I'm not getting any of the orange color back into the bottle. Um, you just want to be careful with that since the colors are kind of blending since they're not cured here. And then the secret sauce to this look is to grab your application brush and just super gently drag the brush through the two colors and it gives you like a seamless blended look. It's so amazing and you really can't achieve this look with regular polish with gel it is just so good and since one of these colors is called smiley i had to add a smiley face so this is with the color butterfly clips again it's from the new collection um i actually do have a coupon code it's cara 10 i'll have that also down in the description below so you can save 10 percent on any of these new colors and i highly recommend them they're absolutely my favorite gel colors they're so pigmented and beautiful and super fun for art um, this is kind of out of focus. I apologize. It's, I'll get better. Um, but as you can see, I'm using a liner brush now to do a little smiley face with the little cheeks and it looks just so cute. And now I'm using my favorite top coat by Cocoist. This is the ultra glossy non-wipe rainbow top coat. So this has colorful rainbow sparkles in it. And I think it just looks so fun on top of this ombre. It kind of like blends it in together and just really fits with the vibe. I also like to use a regular top coat on top of this glitter top coat just so that it kind of like encapsulates the glitter and makes it a super smooth surface. Um, so I'll cure this for 60 seconds and since it's non-wipe, you know it's done when you can't feel any stickiness. Um, I think I, yeah, I'm just showing you here how smooth it is. It's really smooth. You can't feel the texture of the glitter at all and it just looks so cute. I truly had the hardest time deciding what I wanted to do for nail art. Um, it's I feel like it's just so hard to choose when I'm going on a trip and I feel the pressure um, since I know I'm going to have to live with it for a couple of days. But I thought it would be fun to try out doing some smiley faces on um, just the tinted base coat with some of the new colors as well. So I'm using butterfly clips here on my pinky. We have blue raspberry. And then what am I going to use next? Oh, what's, what's it going to be? Um, the orange color, that's vitamin C. And I'm just using a dotting tool and kind of drawing like a little oval for the eyes. And with gel, it's so great since it doesn't dry until you cure it. You can kind of move it around. If it doesn't look good, you can wipe it off. I definitely did that a couple of times too if I wasn't happy with how the smile looked or how the eyes looked. And then I'm just really carefully doing a curved line to get the smiley face. And that one's done, just checking it out. I think I like what I see. Okay, and now I'm adding my final smiley face and there's truly nothing happier about these nails. Um, off camera, I froze them in place by curing them and then did a top coat. And here is the final look. Thanks for watching.